first off, every year I have this, what I call a memory jar. And um, it's basically just a jar that I fill with like little scraps of paper that I'm weirdly sentimentally attached to and can't throw away. And just tiny things that I think are cute and kind of represent um, what that year was about for me. And so I'm going to be taking everything out of this jar, um, sorting into categories, showing you guys some important stuff that was important to me this year and putting it back in the jar, sealing it up and uh, starting my new 2021 jar. So I'm going to go ahead and sort these things and I will see you in a few moments. Right off the bat, we have stuff that has to do with Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing has been a game I have played um, since the GameCube game. It was literally the one of the very first video games my sister and I played when we were little. And we grew up with that. We played the DS, Wild World, um, the Wii, City Folk, and um, we played the uh, New Leaf on the 3DS. That We actually played that a few years after it came out because the 3DS was so expensive and my parents literally got us both a 3DS just so we could play that game. That just shows you how much I love it. I didn't have a Switch going into 2020, but um, when I heard the new Animal Crossing game was coming out and they were coming out with an Animal Crossing edition of the Switch, I just was like, okay, that's it. I, I need to I need to, to buy this game. Like, I I love I love it that much. It's, it's kind of crazy. So I bought I bought my Switch this year. Animal Crossing was such a big part of 2020. We can't do a year in review without talking about just how fun of a game it is. It really helped me and a lot of other people kind of escape from the abysmal reality of our political, social, and viral climate. Um, <laughs> obviously, it's safer to wander around my Animal Crossing town and get on an Animal Crossing plane than get on a real life plane, so. Another thing I tried to do this year was crochet. And I did, my mom taught me how to crochet, so I can crochet a little bit. I bought a lot of yarn and a lot of needles. And so I haven't made a project yet, but that's for 2021. At least now I have the skills, so. Pizza, enough said. A ticket for uh, one of the only live shows this year before all this pandemic crap happened. In January, my mom and I went to see the Crime Junkie podcast live show. It was so cool. I still really like that podcast. Um, my mom just said she's gonna make lasagna for dinner. Yes. I had to text her yes, but this was such a fun time. Literally like this time last year, we were all packing to go to Disney World. Um, and so we went We went to Disney World and in the, the first week of January. And at that point, there have been stories of coronavirus, um, cases in China, but we did not think that it was any sort of threat to the United States and maybe our president could have warned us a little bit differently, but I've got, um, these are from the, they have like little trading pins, which is one of my favorite parts of Disney World is, duh, the trading pins, but they sell like little packs of like mystery ones, and so these were from two of the mystery packs that I had bought and got cute little mystery pins, so that was pretty fun. So that's going in the jar. And I have this little pass for extra magic hours. So what magic hours is, is specific hours that the park is open to people who have special privileges. So this could mean that you stayed at a Disney resort, but we actually didn't stay at a Disney resort. We stayed at the Hilton. I have the room key from the Hilton that we stayed at, but because it was like on Disney property, we were able to get to finesse some of those magic hours, so. Not to flex or anything, but I'm that Disney adult. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, it says, he who expects no gratitude shall never be disappointed. And I wrote on the back that it's from June, 2020. I'm not gonna say that I expected no gratitude. I mean, it's nice to be recognized sometimes, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you don't get recognized for your work, but that's okay because sometimes you do and it all works out. We got another one here. It has no date on it. It says, a thrilling time is in your immediate future. I don't know what about this year was thrilling. 
except for thrilling in like the worst way, like thrilling in like, okay, am I gonna die today way, you know? Like, so it could mean that. Oh, we also got September, 2020. You don't need to travel far to find the satisfaction you're looking for. That hits really close to home. Um, especially because I've been home most of this year. And I kind of have this, I do want to travel a little bit after I graduate. Like I really want to go on a trip. And I, I do kind of, part of me does want to go and like move to the big city, live in some sort of city that I've never been and do a job. And I'm excited for that, but Apparently I don't need to travel to find the satisfaction I'm looking for according to Panda Express. So we got, you will be called in to fulfill a position of high honor and responsibility. Should I run for Congress? Or maybe this is just about my, um, my student leadership positions. Nah. I go to Myrtle Beach with my family every year and um, there's like, these random, you know, those Zoltar machines all over the boardwalk and stuff like that. So I'm gonna read it out loud. You are very quick tempered, quick to get excited and quick to cool off. This will cost you some dear friends. Next time something happens to you, slow down and choose to respond with logic instead reacting with emotion. Whatever, yeah. Obviously, I voted in the primary and I voted in the general. So I voted for redacted. Just kidding. I voted for Andrew Yang in the primary and this isn't a political video, um, but I did vote for Joe Biden in the general and thank God. I can't even, I was gonna make a voting slash election vlog, but I never really finished it because the editing software I was using was so difficult to work with, but I have a video of me when I found out that Joe Biden won, and I think maybe I'll just put that in there just for fun. Just the wave of relief and just like, obviously like I've always been someone who's very interested in politics and that's never gonna change. And you know, I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, oh, the election's over. So now we don't have to talk about politics or learn about it or whatever. But you know, we can, we can breathe easy knowing that there's someone in government who is actually going to listen to what the citizens are saying and actually help us. I have confidence that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are wanting to make real change and do good for our country. So I'm excited to see what happens. Maybe we'll get healthcare this year. I bought some things off Etsy this year. This is paperwork I got. I bought a little tiny tiger and I bought it off of this site called Dodo Toucan on Etsy. And it was from France. And I bought it like at the very beginning of the pandemic and it took like, I kid you not, it took like four or five months to get here. But was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. And if you're looking for cute ceramics and you want to support, you know, artists directly, I definitely recommend Etsy and I recommend this Dodo Toucan. Speaking of things that I bought off of Etsy, I bought these little tiny hamster things, which I'll show some pictures of. They're so cute and there's so many different ones of them. and. It's like some seller, I guess in Japan or wherever the seller's from, they just have capsules, like those little capsule machines with all these in them and they're just everywhere. But in America, we our capsule things are dumb and they're always like ugly crap. And so, um, yeah, if you want to overprice little capsule objects, go to Etsy and, and buy them. And it literally bring, brought me so much joy, so much serotonin. I bought this recently um, when I was Christmas shopping and I bought my sister one for Christmas too. And they're little hamsters. It's ham egg. They're little hamsters with just eggs. I don't know why they're so cute. See, literally just says ham egg. Um, yeah, this made my year better. This is going in the jar. And one more thing is the 
Teddy Fresh and Spongebob collab was this year. There you go. And I bought a t-shirt for myself and a t-shirt for my sister, which I was going to give to her for her birthday, but I couldn't wait and I just gave it to her like a week after I got it for her, so. But yeah, that's all the stuff in my jar um, for the year. And so now I'm gonna put it back in the jar in an artful way and I'll show you the final result. A lot happened this year and it's not just captured in the tiny things I put into this jar. It's much more than that. Um, honestly, I'm just happy to be alive. I'm happy that my family has made through it without getting sick. I know that that's not the case for so many people. So I'm thankful for that. As far as 2021, I just want to, if all this virus stuff permits, I want to just go out and live my life and you know, just experience new things and graduate and just be happy. So to summarize, I want to graduate, um, be healthy, commit to more zero waste, and move out eventually. And maybe even go on a trip. I really want to go on some sort of road trip or something. Um, Here it is. I sealed it with a scrap of fabric from a dress that I sewed myself and wore at Myrtle Beach. So that's what that is. And I wrote 2020 on it because I always put the year on it. And you can see in there all of the different things. Perhaps the most important thing I did this year, probably. Animal Crossing, Zotar, Magic Hours pennies and fortunes and all sorts of stuff. Um, I guess that's the video. Um, hey, it's Megan. Here are my polar bear pants to say thank you for watching. And I know this video is kind of long and very personal. And um, uh, I hope it was somewhat entertaining. I tried to make it funny, but I'm just excited for the new year. And I want to uh, keep this as a record of kind of reflections of this past year and hope for the future. So. I hope everyone out there has a happy new year and stay safe as always. And thanks for watching, so cheers.